Hello, it's me, Crazy Rebecca Dances with Pitbulls, and it's time for another porch and yard walk. I think we'll go this way. My rope plant from my sister is blooming again, and okay, this one's almost done. That one is going, and that one is coming on. This might be another bloom coming on there. It's kind of still beat up because I had it hanging under the suet last year for a while, and the birds dropped the suet and they pecked on it. And I saw on this one, look at that, coming up from that center plant. So that's way cool. One little one coming back there. I don't know, I may put something else in there. Not sure. This is the neighbors, their loan. Uh, contribution to the porch. It's a rose bush from IGA. And it has bloomed, but there are new buds coming on it. These continue to be doing well. My bird cage with the ivy and spider plants. Here we have the Darth Vader spider plant. I'm gonna take that off. Oh, Darth Vader spider plant. Needs cleaned up just a little. Oh, I just toss them out into the yard. This is looking good. I want this spider baby though. I have some place to put him. Okay, we have Indians, Native Americans, scattered around the porch now. My sister sent them up from Tennessee. They were my mother's. So, we'll be seeing those. Look how well this Collius is doing. Oh, the traffic. I put one of my aloes I broke I trimmed it up a little bit and look at this how well this is doing now I moved them up together because they were getting lost in the jungle so that is way cool this spider plant mess is doing good it should start putting babies out soon okay there's the aloe it's still too big Still too big. Christmas cactus. Uh, zigzag cactus from Emmy's grandma. And look at this. It's really doing good. I keep it watered like twice a day. So I'm happy with that. I don't know if I showed you this little bird cage I got from Rusty's, but it's on a DIY, uh, what do you call those? Shepherd's hook from Joann's that was like 80% off. So Sadie and I got a bunch of those and put it together. I actually got another section of pipe that is too much, it makes it too tall. So that's all right. My spider, not spider, mother in law's tongue is. I don't know what that bloom is going to look like and is my plant going to die after it happens, but. Okay, this thing. There's another Indian. My sister sent me these tins and said, hey, wouldn't those be cool planted? And I'm like, yeah, they sure would. This has a lot of new growth on it, the pencil cactus. 
this. Let's see, let's put this. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna change this. Back like that, will it fit there? weeded. Okay. okay. That water is ugly. I'm going to have to find something to put over the top of that. Hey. Hey. Okay. <laughs> Slippy on there. There. Look at, look at that. Look at all right. Here's my third and final Indian. He is looking still not looking at us. I don't know. <laughs> He's got his medicine pouch. Um I had see this happened in the wind. I haven't cleaned it up yet. And here is another piece of aloe, waiting for me to find a bigger thing to plant that in. This is doing good. This is not doing so good. I need to trim the dead parts off of that. This is from work. And I probably could have picked something better to put it in, but I didn't, so there you have it mother of thousands my beaded curtain my other bird cage with the wind chimes in it uh oh this one broke and did it fall is it down in there okay we have to go on a hunt for that other chime I think that's it for the porch. What am I going to put in this one? I don't know yet. I made some changes down here. The chives are done blooming. Am I supposed to trim those off? The dead blooms? I don't know. It needs weeded a little bit this weed is in with my these are rocket lemon snapdragons from Rusty's I pinched them back and now I mean now there's it's like slow growing I don't want that lemon balm in there this is the massive lemon balm that's lemon thyme. I had Sadie sniffing all these herbs. I'm going to just throw those blossoms back there. More snapdragons. Okay, what is this? This is a salvia. Black and blue. Is it a perennial? I can't tell. We'll find out. These are zinnias from Rusty's. He gave me a bunch for making that one video. Let's go this way. This is the Wandering Jew or Carolina Creeping something something and other succulents from this house. Okay. These are the daylilies on Mike's side. They are ready to bloom. Mine are blooming. I think this gets a little more shade. We have some maple trees. Come up along the fence. 
That's Virginia Creeper. It gets a real pretty blue um, blue berry on it in the fall. This is honeysuckle. Let me give it a, a smell here. See, it's in with the creeper, so you might think it's Virginia creeper, but it's not. It's Mm, it's honeysuckle. So we got a bunch of that. Barb, are those your arborvitaes? <laughs> no, those are uh, something else. They're kind of shaped like arborvitae. So this is actually poisonous, I think. I'm not going to touch it just in case. I really don't take. Oh, here's some blackberries raspberries coming on there that's this leaf yeah he'll come through here I'm sure and just rip everything out he does it like every year so I better get a video of it right now I had to mark this little peony because they kept whacking it down last year so let's hope it recovers enough to really bloom it had like one bloom on it this year these peonies did really well but of course the weight of them dropped them all to the ground these have sprung back up but they were all on the ground this is my where I usually have the impatience, but I put the snapdragons in there. I don't know if I like this grass or not. I'll just pull that out. There. And um, these are morning glories. All these. I'll let those grow up and around it more peonies that need trimmed back just a little bit because here are my other zinnias my daughter got me these these are from Rusty's that he gave me rose moss okay I have two tomatoes out here this year they are both big boy tomatoes got some blooms going on this one and this one this one seems to be doing slightly better. Uh, I need to take this leaf off because of the zinnias underneath it. I don't know if this was a good planning on my part, but I'm gonna tie it up to that stick from the yard. The birds are eating me out of house and home still. Well, this poor tree is dead. Except right there. That one is in the same condition at the top. Are they going to do anything about it? I doubt it. I think that's a cardinal call in there. No. I'm not sure what that is. Okay, here we have a look at my mint. Everybody breathe deep. Smell my mint. Some succulents. I moved the pansy box over here. And it's looking really nice still. And of course, trash blew in back there. That is Monique's hosta she gave me. I'm trying to keep most of the morning glories pulled so I need to get in there later and do that again. This is a house plant from Rusty. I put it with those colias because it has that pink on the leaf. So I thought, well, it'll go good with that. Okay. These planters are not doing the greatest, but I may run up there and get me some new 
plants to pop in there into a couple of them but this one I got he gave me those on that same day the succulent okay this actually goes down here the wind had knocked it off so I moved it he goes there that is a oregano any locals need an oregano plant come on by uh, my begonia okay this I'm gonna put in here for now I don't know, I don't know. hey this could go wait this could go in that other tin okay my New Guinea impatient I had to this was the thing that broke it was the bamboo from Chandana's wedding party. So, okay, these pansies I have split in half and I put them in. I was calling this plant baby tears. This one. It's actually an inch plant. And every time I think I'm going to do research on it, I forget. So yellow begonia. Rusty gave me this one. I planted it. In a tin I got at the estate sale. Wandering Jew. This is Wandering Jew and Inch Plant. And this is my poor, poor, poor hanging basket. But wait till you see the other side of it. But the wind just beat it up the other day we had two three days of 60 mile per hour winds gusts and yeah it was not good but it still looks good from there and i'm sure it'll come back out of it okay these are the peas and i should set a time lapse I swear, I looked at this one last night and judged it too small to pick, but look at it today. So I've been picking peas left and right, and I'm storing them up for a stir fry, which is going to be later today. And that's a potato, potato, got lettuce in there that I don't eat. Look at my green pepper. Here's another lettuce I don't eat with a Cosmo seedling coming up. Here's what those snapdragons look like. And here's my tomatoes on this one. I don't see any, but look how good they look. Look at that. Now, my sister sent me another box up. It had those tins in it and this driftwood tins the driftwood the indians and i now have someone to watch over my tomatoes <laughs> ain't he cool <laughs> yeah so we have bee balm ready to bloom there and there this is oregano and dill now see my daylilies have bloomed and they will be followed by purple cone flower. I have more of the snapdragons back there, and then my succulent beds. And my succulent pots. I have some zinnias there that I started from seed. I'm gonna get them planted in a little bit. Okay, these succulents, hens and chicks, and I have no clue what that other one is, but they're in a really cool mid-century aluminum heavy bowl, which I found at the free store for 25 cents. And I bought me some lamb's ears, and they're so soft. So hopefully those will come back. Okay, Fran, look at your nasturtiums. I think every one of them germinated so I'm, I'm gonna take those call out of there I think 
Those are volunteer tomatoes. This is my succulent thingy. Volunteer tomato. Okay, these are cosmos and zinnias that the rabbits actually have not gotten. And shh, shh, because I don't want to jinx myself. There's the pot that broke that had the bamboo in it. This is my rosemary. These are zinnias from Rusty's. Those are canna lilies from Fred from a long time ago. And they were underneath that black shelf. So I switched it out with this green tub and I put Jurassic Park on there. And yeah. I think we're done. I think we're done. Oh, no, no. This is the yucca. The yucca is going to bloom again. There's a shot of my beaded curtain from that angle. These were the bridal veils. I think I have some footage of those. I will try to put in at the end of this video. <sighs> those are money plants and I forget what uh, Missouri primrose. So this needs to cut back a little bit. I don't trust the gardeners so I don't know what I'm going to do if I'm just going to do it myself. So, I think I will stick this thing in here, like so. Okay. There. Juju, I planted them. This, I just realized. So, I could actually light you have little tea candles in them got this from heather watson it was in her free box <laughs> so yo you know why i actually got this so i could build mobiles on it and then i'm like well maybe this winter i'll bring it in this summer it can hold my stuff so my mission, if I choose to accept it, is to find something to put over this, to hide that ugly stain. Okay, and I will, I will do that. I actually have, I could probably use this. So that's what I'll do. And to find something to plant that aloe in, something large. Okay. So thanks for hanging with me. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. It's not too hot yet. And I think I'll go get me another cup of coffee and come and get the broom and move those plants. And maybe I'll show you what I do when I'm done. Okay, I cleaned up my mess. I repurposed a tin I've used for years for my rosemary plant that I let die have a new one in that owl so it's okay and I trim back the hateful aloe plant and I stuck some mother of thousands in there with it I trimmed up these I trimmed up that I still have this pile of stuff to deal with I forgot to show you this it was inside I lost the tag to it so I don't know what it's called <laughs> but it looks fake and it feels fake but it's real because it, the tips are already turning brown because I don't know how to take care of it so I put the quilt top over the ugly I trimmed up this mother of thousands a bit it has fallen several times so it got damaged so let's hope it does better now. Okay, I think that's it. I cannot locate the missing chime. I looked down in there. I don't know. Maybe I'll have Sadie later this year look for it. Um, I guess that's it. I have these aloe leaves for when I get burnt <laughs> or whatever. I guess you can drink it.
I'm not brave enough to do that. So this concludes the June 13th porch and yard walk. Uh, enjoy the little video of this stuff in bloom. Hello. Remember last week when I said these would be spectacular? Well, they are. They ain't gonna last forever, so I thought I should get a little video of them while I can for the bridal veil bush. I remember these from my childhood. They make me happy, happy, happy. Peonies have still not popped. But here's some good news. Look at those baby zinnias. Right, right there. And right there. Shh. Don't tell the rabbits. These are volunteer snapdragons. Can you believe it? Also, there's a zinnia in there, in there, and I don't see, I thought I spread some marigolds too, but I don't see any of those. And the volunteer tomatoes. I'm gonna have to pull like ah, these. Gotta go. Too many. The bee balm is growing rapidly. Uh, what else? Oh, I planted my big boy tomatoes. Liking that. Something digging in there. Look at the oregano really going. I planted the pepper. And look at the peas. I mean, hello. Of course, it's rained like five times in one week. Oh, look, look at my potted plant hanging basket. Let's show it from this side. I, can, I think that's a cat bird that just went. I, I always mean to look up. They sound like I saw a little wren coming out of it but I I saw this and I wanted it and I bought it so there don't judge me don't judge me oh let's go out here the peonies are popping I see you, squirrel. Okay, is this? It's still got some good left in it. I'll put it back up. Need to refill the big feeder. Looky there. Ain't it pretty? Looking pretty. And I put two tomatoes right there. The zinnias will go there. I'm thinking about putting that. I said I was going to put that New Guinea impatient there, but I don't know. I kind of like it on the porch. He's still, he's
What you doing, Bubba? <laughs> you better run. I can't see. Oh, anyway. 